At over 8,600 feet above sea level, you wouldn't imagine that there is so much history and culture to uncover. Right in the center of Colombia, surrounded by a lush savanna with the most beautiful landscapes and historic landmarks. You are watching the HCW YouTube channel and I welcome you to the capital of Colombia, Bogota. In this travel series, we will show you different places where you can go shopping and being a foodie myself, you can rest assured that the city of Bogota has got you covered when it comes to flavorful food and great nightlife. Thank you for watching and I'm happy to have you here. So let's get started with the video. On this cloudy day here in Bogota, near the Zona T. We are waiting for our driver to go bring us to one of the one of the first wonder of Colombia, which is the Catedral de Sal. But before that, we are going first to the Parque Jaime Duque, which is also a most visit place here in Bogota. It is about a one hour, one and a half hour drive outside of Bogota. Yesterday, we got an offer from one of our driver to bring us there and, and wait for us the entire day for only 300,000 pesos, so whenever you get a deal like this, you have to take it. The park is located about 23 miles or 37 kilometers from our hotel. As we venture further from the city center, the landscape transforms. Rolling hills and lush greenery paint a picturesque scene, offering a glimpse of the natural beauty that surrounds the city of Bogota. The Jaime Duque Park is a popular tourist destination located in the Tocancipá municipality of Colombia. It is a theme park that features a wide variety of attractions and activities, including rides, shows, and cultural exhibits. The park was named after its founder, Jaime Duque, and was first opened to the public in 1980. So yes guys, we paid 50,000 pesos per person to get access to the entire park or you can pay 30,000 pesos and you will have only access to a couple of attractions. But now we are going, we are going to take a stroll down the park and I will show you what you can expect here if you want to come to the Parque Jaime Duque. The park includes exhibitions that showcase Colombia's history, culture, and heritage, providing an opportunity for visitors to learn about the country's traditions and past. The park also features a beautiful botanical garden with a wide variety of plants and flowers, providing a serene environment for relaxation and nature appreciation. A quick tip, make sure to bring your sunglasses and uh, maybe a little bit of sunscreen when you're walking down the park because it may feel like it's a bit cold but when the sun hits you, you will get burned. The sun will hit you really hard. Aside from the exhibits, the park offers recreational activities 
such as picnics, walking trails, and amusement rides, making it an ideal destination for family and tourists. As you can see, there were a lot of school students today at the park, and I mean a lot. Now this is one of the park's main attractions which is called Mundo Aventura or Adventure World. It features a variety of rides and attractions suitable for visitors of all ages. This section of the park includes a roller coaster, a ferris wheel, a carousel, and a train ride, among other things. Additionally, the park features a Mundo Animal or Animal World, which is home to a wide variety of animals such as monkeys, parrots, and alligators. There is also a Mundo Aquatico or Water World, which features water rides and a large swimming pool. The park is open every day of the week, with different schedules for weekdays and weekends. It is recommended to wear comfortable clothes and shoes, and bring sunscreen and a hat, as the park can get quite hot during the day. Food and drinks are available for purchase at the park, but visitors are also welcome to bring their own. Overall, Jaime Duque Park is a great destination for families and visitors of all ages looking for a fun day out. With its wide variety of rides and attractions, shows, and cultural exhibits, there's something for everyone to enjoy at the park. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the last couple of episodes of this series of Bogota. And also share this video with your friends and loved ones and also leave me a comment in the comment section down below and tell me what did you like about this video and about this series of Bogota. And stay tuned for the second part of this day because next we're heading to the Salt Cathedral. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.